Hey guys, John here, and welcome to the beginning of Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. I talked about this a couple of times in the past, but I wasn't particularly happy with the rest of my stream playthroughs of the Kingdom Hearts series that I did after finishing uh, 1.5, Final Mix 1, whatever you want to call it, this game. Uh, <laughs> and I didn't feel like they perfectly represented how I wanted this game to be in an LP form. So, that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be playing through the game's recording style with uh, editing and all the stuff that I think makes it a little bit better without any distractions. And I think it's going to be a lot better represented and I'll be more in the moment, more immersed, and I think it will help you guys to also be more immersed as well. Now, on stream I did not play Chain of Memories, or 358 over 2, or Recoded. Granted, I can't play these two on this collection because these are just cutscenes. But, there are ways of playing them, and I will probably be trying to do that. However, today we begin Rechain of Memories. This game is not easy unless you actually know what you're doing. There are ways of making it more, you know, tolerable. And there are certain things as you go along that you can unlock or learn about that will make it a lot easier. So hopefully this won't be a complete train wreck. <laughs> Let's do this. The title screen for this is pretty cool, with the cards falling and everything. I like it.
Along the road ahead lies something you need. However, in order to claim it, you must lose something that is dear to you. Hey, you think it's okay to barge in? But we gotta do it if we're gonna find the king. The king? King Mickey's here? Something just told me he'd be here, okay? Really? Cause now that you mention it, I was kinda thinking the same thing. Seriously? Me too. One look at this castle, and I just knew. Our very best friends. They're here. <laughs> yep. Guess great minds think alike. Wait, hey, hold on. It can't be just a coincidence. Oh, no, Kimmy. You don't mean that. Yep, I had it too. Mm hmm. I had the exact same feeling. Gorge, maybe it's contagious. No, no, something screwy. We gotta go take a look. All right. <laughs> Where are you going? That way, to the door. <laughs> are you scared? Ah, oh, don't be ridiculous. Come on, let's go, Goofy. Hey, fellers, uh, shouldn't we shut the door behind us before we go? Sora! That's it. Who are you? <laughs> I should think it's obvious. The moment you set foot in this castle, you forgot every spell and every ability you ever knew. In this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. That is the way in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? Here you will meet people that you have known in the past. And you will meet people you miss. I miss? Riku! You mean Riku's here? If what you want... is to find him... 
What'd you do? I merely sampled your memories, and from them, I made this. To reunite with those you hold dear. What's this? A card? It is a promise for the reunion you seek. Hold the card to open the door, and beyond it a new world. Proceed, Sora, to lose and claim anew, or to claim anew only to lose. Huh. Come on, let's go. Card obtained, Traverse Town. Yeah, that wasn't cryptic at all, was it? <laughs> well, let's see here. Uh-huh. Only one right now. Let's use it. This can't be right. We're in Traverse Town. What you see isn't real. This town is an illusion created by your memories ingrained in that card. My memories? Forget about that, Sora. We lost Donald and Goofy. Donald? Goofy? Guys, where are you? What did you do with them? They are at the mercy of the cards now. Master the cards, and their strength will be yours again. The laws of this castle require that your friends be transformed into cards. If you value your friends, you won't fail to pick them up. Cards you pick up are added to the top of your stack. Use them and your friends will come to your aid. The cards you use vanish, but they will reappear to aid you time and again. Cards are the hearts of your friends. Everything in this castle is ruled by cards. Whether an enemy or a door confronts you, cards are the only way to proceed. But you mustn't forget your own strength. First thing for yourself. Move, then use the cards. You now know how to use your strength, but it would be of no use if you lose sight of your opponent. I wonder if you can catch me. Good. 
Every move you make causes a card to disappear. If you use up all of your cards, you will be unable to act. But there is a solution. Keep using cards until you run out, and I will show you. Take this, take that, take all of this. You have no more cards, and without them, no power. If you want that power back, you must focus. Bid the cards to return to you, and they will. The strength of your heart brought back the lost cards. You can recall spent cards at any time. You only need wish it. But each time you do, the cards will take longer to return. The cards are by no means unlimited. Use them wisely. Anticipate the flow of battle. And choose the most effective cards. You may use any card in your deck. Okay. The four card types you use in battle are grouped into two wider categories. The first category includes attack cards, magic cards, and item cards. The second category consists entirely of enemy cards. To use cards from a different category... Change categories. Oh, okay. Alright. Cards will empower you whether you are attacking or defending. But it is up to you to decide when to attack and when to defend. Do not forget that. Are you two alright? Where have you been? You tell us. When you opened the door, we saw a strange light. And the rest is just blank. Gee, that doesn't help. Try to remember what happened. I have to keep my journal up to date. Well, hey, Donald, where'd I get the new clothes? Whack! Me too, Goofy. Somebody's been messing with our clothes. Could it be the cards again? That is for you to ponder. Master the cards and make your way through the castle, but from here, you walk alone. Alone? We can't let Sora go alone. Yeah, Sora can't do anything without our help. Thanks a lot, Donald. You sure you'll be okay? Of course. You want me to go alone? Fine, I can take care of myself. <laughs> the hero speaks boldly. Go then, the rest of Castle Oblivion awaits. Walk the avenues of latent memory and you shall meet someone dear to you. I've got a bad feeling about this. Relax, Jiminy. I'm ready for any tricks he's got up his sleeve. How hard can it be to figure out these cards? Oh, how naive you are, Sora. How naive. All I have to do is use one in front of that door over there. Key of Beginnings. Okay. Traverse Town. Perform the following actions in the field. Move, look, face forward, swing keyblade, jump, and dodge roll. Striking objects in the field with your keyblade yields various results. Strike, 
<laughs> try striking, yes. Try striking the barrel. Yo, give me that, give me that, give me that. Ooh, blizzard. Marked objects can be lifted and thrown. Approach and press triangle to lift. All right. Oh. Touching a heartless on the field starts a battle. So you can strike the heartless first to gain the upper hand. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, whoops. Wrong button. Go, oh, Goofy. Do the work, buddy. Cool. Thanks. Alright, alright, alright. I, I hate Heartless, man. I hate him! Ooh. Card break. Yeah! Tranquil Darkness. Cool. To open doors in the field, press triangle in front of the door. Okay, cool. So I just want to explain though briefly before that uh, we go on. What I did there that was important was using the zero card. The zero card can break the card that is about to be used against you. Um, and that is important. So if you are playing a lower number than the enemy that you're facing, that can be a problem because yeah. they can break your card. However, yeah. just break all these just in case there might be something good here. Uh, however, saving a zero is really good because just when they're about to do an attack, if you play that zero, you're going to break their card and leave them open for attack and you're not going to be hit by whatever the frick it was that uh, you know they were about to use on you. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forget these things can have stuff on them, too. It's kind of important to get these Google... or um, Google points? Yes, Google points. Google points. We will need those later for sure. All right. To proceed to the next room, you need a map card. Map cards are used to synthesize new unexplored rooms. First, select the map card you want to use. Okay. Okay. So we've got Tranquil Darkness, a room where only a few Heartless appear. And we've got Moments Reprieve, a room where you can save your progress, no Heartless. And then Kia Beginning. Um, I think I'm going to do this and then this. Um, it's important to go ahead and, and get some, some experience, get some stuff done here at the beginning. So then we can follow that with having a save point room. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and use... Oh, they're not gonna let me do it. How dare you? Alright, never mind. I guess my plan is not going to come to fruition. Thanks a lot. Number you see on the middle of the screen is the criterion for opening the door. Criterion displayed now means the door will open with a value of one or greater. You pick a card that meets the criterion. Have that mark values from zero to nine. Zero cards mark zero special cards, which meet most criteria. A card without a marked value is a key card. Key cards are only used at special doors. Right. So I guess I have to do the save point here, which is fine. We can always come back to it, but yeah. Swirling crystal in front of Sora is called a save point. I wouldn't call that a crystal, but sure. Stand here and press triangle. Open the save menu. Okay. Let's do this first, though. Break the stuff, man. Ooh, goody. Got a kingdom key. Level 4. Sweet. Alright, let's save. Okay, we're gonna ignore this because uh, this was like a little test thing I did. <laughs> just gonna, we're just gonna save over that. It's fine. All right, so we have saved. Now we go over this door, 
And I guess they're going to let me use this card now. Needs a two or a higher. And that's what we have. Very good. Alright, so now we're going to be in a room that has Heartless in it. That's not really what I expected to happen there, but sure. No! Why didn't you pick it up, Sora, you idiot? Alright, so we're at a disadvantage here. Okay, managed to break their cards. Ah, uh, he got it. Ow, he did it twice. How dare you? Okay. Well... Strong initiative, and it's a zero card, so that's good. That's a little frustrating that that happened. All right, there we go. We're gonna get first hit on him. Oh, there's a lot of you. Oh, broke my card. Broke my card. Broke my card. They broke Donald. God dang it! And they broke that. And that. All right. We're gonna heal. Not what I meant to do, but it's fine. There we go. Get Donald, get Donald. There we go. Um, whoops. God dang it, they are breaking all my crap, man. Okay. Sweet. All right. So, Sorcerer's Waking. All right. So, yeah, I I made some mistakes there in the sense that I wasn't thinking about the number I was playing. Um, but also, I kind of just got in a pinch where they were playing higher numbers and broke all my cards in a row there. So that was kind of rough, but it's okay. So. Uh... <laughs> Honestly, I think the smart play here early is to raise our CP. Slights are also important. Sliding dash could be good, but I think I just want to focus right now on CP because that's going to enable us to build a strong deck and be able to, uh, you know, be prepared for stuff that's coming later better. Um, HP boost. We'll worry about later. Uh, right now, let's just worry about building up our CP. I think that's the smart play. I've looked up some stuff about how to make this game not as terrible. Um, and uh, that's one of the things that people definitely recommend. So. Whoops. You did it wrong, John. Is there an enemy? There is an enemy. Wait, how did I... Oh, dang it. I know what it is. I'm so used to using R1 to lock on to things, I changed back to the redraw thing. That's fine. Ah, uh, no. I'm not ready for... Oh, God dang it. Why did you hit the door, Sora? There was an enemy. Sometimes you amaze me. Uh-huh. No, why do I keep doing that? Okay. Yeah, that's not at all what was supposed to happen. Just put that out there. So, yeah. Meeting ground. Okay. <laughs> we did level up again, though. And again, I'm just going to go for this. But, uh, god dang it. I made some dumb mistakes there, for sure. Again, it's... The biggest thing there, though, is that I'm so used to... Um... What you call it? Lock on being R1. That I changed to the redraw thing, and it, that's a problem. Yeah. Okay. 
go. That works. Lasting days. Okay. That's, that's all fine and well. Alright, so we have two different doors here. One with the crown, one without. Uh, let's see. We actually are around the 30 minute mark here, I believe. So let's go ahead and actually go back and we're gonna save and we're gonna end the first episode here. So here's the deal. Obviously, I'm playing on beginner, you see that. I'm not gonna hide it. It's an easy way out, for sure. But the main thing is, is that I'm really, really bad at this game, okay? And because of that, I, I kind of wanted the advantages you get from beginner mode. Now, let's just put this out here. You don't miss out on anything in this game by not doing the highest difficulty. There are no like special cutscenes or bosses or anything that are locked behind playing through at a higher difficulty. All this really does is that it makes me take less damage when I do something dumb and get hit because I played the wrong card like an idiot. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I think. There might be a higher percentage chance of, of getting a good drop or something, but it's it's really not a huge difference as far as all that stuff is concerned. I just take a little less damage, and that's pretty much what we want here. I'm playing through this mainly for the story because I've never played this game on YouTube, and uh, I wanted to get the whole story of Kingdom Hearts up on YouTube at some point. So that's what we're doing. Um, you can call me out and say that I should play on a higher difficulty because it's not that hard once you learn all the slides and all that stuff. I'm not, I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't care, man. I'm, I'm just going to do this the way I think is best. And uh, yeah, so that's why we're doing it this way. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hammer the like button, share with your friends, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you next time. For more Kingdom Hearts Re-Chain of Memories. Bye!